Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to set up a simple health bar in Unity 5. We'll be using the slider component that is a part of the Unity UI namespace. And this approach that we take to the health bar can be applied to any kind of progress bar that you would need to use. Just think of a health bar as a reverse progress bar, right? It's, it's still zero to 100%. But when you think of a health bar, you think of it ticking down when you get damaged and, and all that and going back up when you get healed. But if you have a, pro a progress bar that maybe represents your level, right? How much experience you have until the next level or your progress on an achievement, it's filling up. But it's all the same. It's, it's the exact same. It's just a health bar. The value is getting lower instead of higher. So you can apply this to all of that stuff. So we're going to jump right in and get right into it. I'm going to open up what I have here. It's already called character health. It's just a simple script file that contains a very basic health system. Nothing to do with a health bar yet. Just some stuff that you might have in your game. And I'm going to run over it real quick and show you how I have it set up. And then we can jump right into creating the health bar. So first things first, we have a current health and a max health property. Current health is going to represent the player or the character's current health, as you could imagine. And max health is the amount the player can have or the character can have at the maximum. And we need to know that because we need to know what to, say, reset the player's health to or uh, the percentage that the current health is of the max health possible. We have to know the max health for that. So we have max health set. And in our start method, we're assigning that to a value of 20 uh, just to give us something to work with. But you would probably have this set up a bit differently in your game if you have an actual game going. This is just for the demo. And then I have, I'm just setting the current health to max health so it resets when I start the game. So the player starts out with full health so that I can test it easily. And then an update, we have a simple input check to see if we're pressing the key X. And if we are, we're going to deal damage. Just to test this, we have a deal damage inside of our character health uh, script file here. And all I'm doing is I'm taking a damage value that we passed, which is 6, and I'm subtracting it from the current health value, which is the player or the character's current health. And then if that is 0 or less than 0 after we subtract the damage value, we're going to just go ahead and kill or kill the player, just call the die method. In this case, all that does is set the current health to zero, and it logs out you are dead, or you dead in this case, you dead. And that's all we need to get started on our health bar. So if you have something along those lines where you don't have anything and you want to set it up to kind of match this just to play around, go ahead and do that, and I'll see you in Unity. All right, so what I want to do is I want to set up the health bar UI, and we're going to be using the slider component, like I said, and this is just really an easy way to get a fill image set up in your game, right? You can use this, like I said, for progress bars, and you can use this for health bars. And that's just because, if, you, if I show you here, if I grab this value slider here and slide it, it already has a simple fill functionality for the image that we need. And it, it just works just by dragging and dropping pretty much everything that we need, and it's already set up. So what I wanna do is I wanna go under slider, and the handle, we don't need the handle because they're not going to be able to click and drag on that. It's it's silly. They don't need that. So I'm going to disable that for now. And what you could do is go into slider and just remove the handle from the handle rect field there and just set it to none. And then you can delete the handle if you don't want the handle at all. And that works just fine just like that. I then want to adjust some of the sizes here. We're going to make it a bit bigger. And this is going to be the health bar that sits at the top of the screen. You know, the kind, right? But what if you had a health bar that you wanted to follow a player around? Say you're playing an MMO or an RPG of some kind, and they have a health bar, and it's going to follow the player around, or the character around. Well, you can do that by first following this tutorial. It's going to show you how to do the health bar. And then on the channel, I have a tutorial that covers how to do damage pop-up text. And that follows the enemies around on the screen. So you can, you can use that to kind of understand how to place UI elements on world coordinates. So after this, follow that. And you should have a pretty good understanding of how to go about your health bar system. So I'm going to grab the background. And this is going to be, we're going to make it a red color. Because that means that's the amount of health that we're missing. Just kind of a standard way to represent that. And then fill area, inside that there's a fill image here. 
and I can grab this and I'm going to make it green because that means this is the health that we have and just like that and that's all we need there now you'll notice up here in the rect transform we have left and right and they're set to negative five that adds an offset to the left and right of this which makes sense if you have the slider handle but since we're not using that we don't need it as you can see here the overhang if I were to select the slider it's right up against it right but if I wanted to set this so that it, the left was zero and the right was zero which gets rid of the, the margins the gutters on the sides which makes sense with the handle we now have an overhang which we don't want so if, if this green bar was to fill all the way up it would overhang over here as well so to fix that I'll just get rid of the negative the negative five on that and that'll fix the overhang and that means zero there'll be no fill here you won't see any of the green at zero and at 100 there will be no red and that's, that's important because if that wasn't the case it would be a pointless health bar or a pointless progress bar so we have that set up just like that and that should work for us just fine and I'm gonna call this health bar and that's all I need to do for our UI stuff so back into character health I'm going to add a couple things to my character script here. The first thing I want is I want a public variable of the health bar so we can just assign it in the inspector, keeping it really simple. I'm going to be using the Unity Engine.UI namespace. Go through using, right, as you would use any namespace. As you can see, Unity Engine, System.Collections, and we uh, now are using unity engine.ui that's the UI namespace it's going to give us access to all the cool new UI uh, components in this case slider which is what we need so we're going to be using slider and if we didn't have unity engine.ui we would have to go through unity engine.ui dot slider and that works just fine but it says hey this is redundant you don't need this now because you have the using for the whole script file but you get the point and I'm going to call this health bar, just like that. And then I can assign this in the inspector. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and set up the rest of the script file. The first thing I want to do is I want to set up a way to calculate the current health percentage because our health bar goes from zero to one. It's zero to one. We could set it up to be zero to a hundred. We can make it whole numbers if we wanted to just use integers instead of floats and then not have, you know, 0, 0.00 to 1.00. It would just be zero to a hundred. It would represent 100% a bit easier, but we're not going to do that because we don't have to do that. We're just going to divide the values and that'll give us the correct proper or the correct, uh, the correct value. So I'm going to set up a, a method here that's going to return a float value. It's not a void. It's going to return a float value. I'm going to call it calculate health. Health. Just like that. And all it's going to do is return a value that is the value of current health divided by maximum health or max health. And that's going to take the current health. May it be uh, we have we have 20. So say we've taken 10 damage. It's 10. It's going to divide by the max health which is 20 and that'll equal 0.5 which would be 50 percent which on the bar will represent 50 percent and that's exactly what we need so in start now all I have to do is grab my health bar and do a value so going through health bar grab value and that's going to be able to uh, now we're gonna be able to assign the value of our health to the slider okay so usually if you're using a slider and you're, and you're using it like in a menu you want to be able to slide to select a value and then you'll grab that value in your code well in this case what we're doing is we are setting the value and then using the slider to represent that value kind of a, a different approach to it right so health bar value is equal to and do calculated health that's going to return the float value that we need and assign it to the health bar. So on start, we should have a full health bar because current health is equal to max health. Therefore, that divided by that is one. Cool. But now we need to update the health bar whenever we are damaged and use it to represent the current health of the character. And I can do that right after we subtract the damage amount from the current health. So I could do, as we did before, health bar dot value is equal to calculated health just like that and if I go back into unity now 
what I have to do is on my player, I have a player object here. There's nothing on him. It's just an empty object. What I want to do is I want to drag character health onto the player. So now this, this object has the ability to have health, which is what we want. And I want to drag my health bar onto him just like that. And this could be used for enemies or whatever. You know, it's a component based system. That's the whole point. But our player now has character health and we assigned the health bar that our player is going to use, which is this one right here. And now our script file would be working with that health bar. So if I were to click play and start a simulation here, we have a full health bar, which is what I want. Now I know in the script, if I hit X, it should damage the player. I hit X and what happened was it took off six health, six out of 20 that represents it properly there. Hit it again. I should be able to survive one more hit with very little health. I should have two health left. There we go. That represents two health. Hit it again. I have none, no health left. I am dead. And you can see that the console, as I logged it out, says, well, he says you dead. I should say you are dead, but it says you dead. And that's pretty much it. If you wanted to have a text value represent that, all you'd have to do is have a text component on your health bar and reference that the same way we did the health bar and set the text value on that to be equal to your current health. All very straightforward, all very simple. And again, if you want to apply this to like uh, follow a character around, say you have an MMO, like I was talking about, and this character's walking around, and you want to have a health bar on top of their head, you could follow my pop-up text tutorial, my, my damage pop-up text, and you can take from that and apply it to this, and hopefully you'll come up with a pretty good solution to, to your question there that you didn't ask that I asked myself. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Any questions, I want you to head over to the new forum. You can ask me any questions there. You can ask the other guys that, that watch these videos questions there. It'll be the best place to get in touch and the best place to get help with my videos. It's much like ForgeUnity.com was, except it's a little different. Go over to GoGangGrind.com, set up an account, ask away. Have some expertise. Maybe you can help answer some questions over there or write some awesome guides, guys. Again, my name is Austin, and I will see you next time.